guys, welcome to today's video. Today it is, today is Thursday. Man, we had such a good lesson last night. Chino is back. We had his debut. And hopefully you guys have seen the video. Gabby has been getting him back into shape and working him a lot, trying to get him ready over fences for show season. Done a lot of it off camera just because it's hard to video all the riding that she does. And he's back. He looked so good last night. And yes, guys, I did bring a fidget. She brought a fidget to the barn. It is 8 a.m. And I've already... I've already looked at so many horses for Sophie. Like, every morning when before I even get out of bed, I'm looking at horses. Every night before I go to bed, I'm looking at horses. There are some little kitty footprints. Buying horses is so hard. Like, it is so hard. Trying to find the horse, trying to like figure out what you need. Like trying to figure out what you need even is hard. Buying horses is hard, I hate it. Like always, Gabby is the last one here. Come on, little puppy. Shall we see if her cat is in the arena, she said. Hey, move. Oh. Hey. Sophie misses, is this what you're doing? Every day, every day I come down and she walks backwards in the arena. I'm like, what the heck are you doing, Sophie? Yeah, I don't so last night you guys saw we got a rooster. We got a rooster because we want to hatch our own eggs because we love the chickens that we have now and we want to be able to keep those. And we woke up to crowing. We woke up to crowing. Sophie's like, oh, I hear him. And I was like, what the heck is that noise? We woke up to crowing. I miss that sound. I love a rooster. And I think we have a few roosters in our little clutch of chickens in the house. Release the beast. Did you throw hay? I have not gone to get inside again. Okay, so get the release hay. Release the beasts. Oh, release those beasts. All right, guys. Meet Finn. Meet the new Finn. Sophie says, don't call Finn's him that. Phineas. His name is Phineas. But isn't it just weird how we just keep getting things that named Finn? I saw him just now eating from our new feeder and he likes it. And girls, on the other hand, are curious and interested. Oh, he thinks that's where he gets the water. Yeah. I know you have water. She's like, whoa. It rained all night, wow. She's our, f wow. I never would have thought of her as a brave girl. Amazing, but anyway, this is the new Finn, Phineas. He's a one-year-old rooster, and he is an Easter egger. And the way you can know that he's an Easter egger is because he's got those big, beautiful cheek feathers. You see them? Fluffy cheeks. And that girl in the back there, the white one, she also has those. And she is an Easter egger. No, it's the gray one that's an Easter egger. Oh, the gray one. Well, maybe she's an Easter egger, too. But anyway, that's Finn. He woke us up early this morning. Well, not early, and we were already awake. You were late. I feel like... It, I introduced them at night so it would be easier for them. Sometimes that can be an easier thing when you introduce them at night when the girls are sleeping. <laughs> and I think he didn't realize what was happening last night and he woke up this morning and he was like, whoa, I have four chicks. <laughs> four chickens all for myself. And I think that's why he started to crow. He was like, wahoo. And he didn't stop. And he didn't stop, yeah. Crow for us, Finn. <laughs> Yeah, you're such a pretty boy, and he's very tame. I carried him out here last night. He's very friendly. Look at this gray girl. This gray coaching. Wow. I love our chickens. I love them. Look at how beautiful she is. She's just so beautiful. And you're beautiful too, yes. And the gray chicken is hatching right now. This coop can only hold five chickens so that is it building a new one Finn I feel like it's funny that our life we're meant to be surrounded by fins <laughs> Daisy's like oh like a fin <laughs> see look oh I missed it but you could see her her face feathers too she's got nice big feathers on her face yeah but she's the one that lays long eggs she wait lays oh, the gray one Lays blue eggs. Blue. Um, the She's an Easter egger. Easter white eggers. One with black back there lays long eggs. Long, extra large cream eggs, and they're so nice. I love both of their eggs. That's why I want to breed them. So, this girl here, this Easter egger girl, Easter eggers, who is very interested in Phineas, 
Um, Easter eggers. Oh, you want to be saved from her? Easter egger chickens lay all the colored eggs. So that's where you get like the blues, the pinks, the greens, the, the blues, the pinks, the greens, those kind of eggs. And then there are other ones that lay the really dark eggs. Hello, Finn. Hello, Phineas. Can I call you Finn? Finn is such a close to my heart name. Hi. You're very beautiful. Yes, you are. Last night when I carried him out, he was making so many pretty noises. You should say handsome. Handsome. So these are the new clutch of eggs, you guys. Every few hours I come in and I turn them around, give them a little half turn to the left so that they... Okay, so the eggs we're gonna get, I think, because she showed me. So here's an olive one. It's like an olive agar. And getting, these are blue. I think we're getting this one. This one. Well, this one and a blue one. So these are kind of the eggs that you get from an Easter egger. Sophie and Sam have left the building. They've gone out. And I wanted to show you guys uh, what we're doing for Easter this year. Or what I'm planning to do for Easter this year. Um, you guys know that I have four grandkids. And I always like to buy them something small for Easter. Even though they have Easter with their family. I like to always give them something. So this year, so I always try and buy them something like to wear for Easter. So this year they're getting an outfit and, and then they're also getting a Kinder Surprise egg. And then we're gonna do a big Easter egg hunt with a bunch of different eggs. So I got this little outfit here for baby Jack, who is obviously not a baby anymore. It's just shorts and a t-shirt. And then I got this Champions short set for baby Aria and it's just so adorable. I love pink. So for Brooklyn, I got her some Adidas shorts. They're like a little bit long. And I got her a Champion t-shirt. It got a little bit wrinkled in the bag though. That's disappointing. And then I got Jacob this cute uh, blue and red shirt. It's super shiny. You can't really tell on the camera. And then I got him some shorts. This pack actually came with two that match. So I like to get them something to wear for summer and then they're going to get an Easter surprise egg. We got girls ones and boys ones for Easter this year and then the Easter egg hunt. That's all we're doing. It's actually a rainy dull day today so we haven't been doing much. We've just been hanging around. We've just been hanging around inside. But I did want to show you guys something with our baby chicks. They're all doing fabulous. Yes they are. Providing hours of entertainment for everyone. We just sit here and watch them. So this little guy who's been really quiet up until now, who's very noisy, um, he's the little one that hatched last. What's the matter? I actually think he's excited because I'm going to feed him. So what I was going to tell you guys is that I've been hand feeding him every couple of hours. He does, wait, let me feed him and then I'll come back to him. He's still not happy. <laughs> anyway, I've been giving him, hand feeding him water and giving him an opportunity to eat without any other chickens around. He's obviously healthy and doing super well, but he's so tiny and little tiny chickens like this can fail so fast. And the other ones like, they just run and he falls over because he's so small. They're so much bigger than him. So I wanna always, so I'm just making sure that he gets everything that he needs, giving him extra opportunity to eat away from the other chickens so that he has time to actually eat. <laughs> he hardly eats, like he only eats little teeny tiny bits at a time and he's really slow and he's just, he's so healthy. He hatched normally, he hatched the on day 22, came out of his shell perfectly. He's really good, it's just I worry that he isn't he doesn't get enough time at the feeder that he needs because he's so little so i'm just supplementing him just a tiny bit to make sure that he he gets what he needs because he's my favorite and i want to keep him forever <laughs> Whenever he stops eating, because it can take a little bit for him to get going, I just pick up the food and drop it in the bucket, and he hears it hit the, he hears it hit? Whenever he hears it hit, he starts eating. All right, so this is weird, you guys. I had to go out shopping and get a few things for Easter, because Easter's coming. And as I was walking out, there's a guy standing at the front of the store, like a worker. 
and he says to me, oh, Sam got one too. Would you like a rapid, COVID rapid response testing kit? And I was like, sure. <laughs> I think there's five in here. What does it say? Five individually packed tests. We've got 10 tests. Oh. Were you shocked when he gave it to you? Yeah, I was like, I think I should grab one just in case because we only have one left at home, right? Wow, it's fancy. And so obviously we're not going to have it now, but it's interesting. It's fun to have these. Like before, you couldn't even find these test kits, and now they're giving them away for free at Walmart. Like, that's just crazy. Don't you know?